Hey guys, here's the NES Classic. Today I'm going to show you how to put RetroArch on it so you can play all your SNES, GBA, Genesis, MAME, and even N64 games to some extent. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is get your games. Next, you want to go to the description and you're going to want to download the latest version of Hack Cheat 2. And then you're also going to want to go and download RetroArch. Right here, you're going to want CloverApp.zip and RetroArch with Cores.zip. Once you got those downloaded, you can go ahead and extract Hack G2 and RetroArch with cores. You can leave CloverApp.zip as it is. After that, put RetroArch.hmod into the cores folder and go into the cores folder, copy all of its contents. Go back into Hack G2 folder that you extracted earlier. Put these files into user underscore mods. Now you're ready to open HackCheat 2. Go back to the HackCheat 2 folder, open HackCheat.exe, run as administrator, always. Once that's open, you're going to want to go to kernel at the top and hit dump kernel, select yes. Make sure the power button is off, reconnect the NES. Hold the reset button while you press the power switch after a few seconds. Should connect. Install the driver if you have not installed it already. Everything lined up for the take Once that's done, you're going to want to go to the top and hit modules, install extra modules. Then you're going to see a list of all the H mods that you put in the folder earlier. Now, the first one you want to want to do is RetroArc. The rest of them, look through them, see which ones you want to do, click the ones you want, and then hit OK. It should do it automatically if you just dumped your kernel. I'm going to skip this for time's sake. After that, turn off the NES Mini, go to Add More Games, navigate to your games folder. Right now I'm getting Sega Genesis games. Got 75 right here, I'm going to put them all on there. I'm going to skip this for time's sake yet again. After that, you're going to want to go back to Add More Games, add the CloverApp.zip file that we downloaded earlier. Now you're going to want to click Synchronize Selected Games with NES Mini. It's going to ask you to flash the custom kernel, go ahead. Do the same thing, make sure the power button switched off, connect it, hold the reset button, hit the power switch, after a few seconds just connect. Then just continue to follow any on-screen instructions and you should be all set. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check back for more in the future and feel free to comment or contact me if you have any suggestions. Tap one, two. Say so